Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf. Today, we would like to introduce a new member feature from Pace Turf that can help you improve the effectiveness of your pest management treatments, such as POA seed head suppression applications. Your weather services will now track growing degree days both in base 32 Fahrenheit and base 50 Fahrenheit for your location. You can find this information on your emailed weather alerts just below the main table. Growing degree day information can also be found by clicking on weather on the Pace Turf website navigation bar. The degree day accumulations will show up at the top of the report. In both cases, the number of degree days accumulated for your location for base temperatures of 32 Fahrenheit or 50 Fahrenheit are reported. Let me take a minute to review the concept of growing degree days and how they are used. Growing degree days are frequently used to predict plant and insect development. This simple method uses the average daily temperature and a base temperature that is characteristic for the plant or insect in question. Each degree of average temperature that exceeds the base temperature adds one degree day. The calculation for each day looks like this. For example, if the average temperature for a day was 52 degrees Fahrenheit, using base 32, the day would have accumulated 52 minus 32 or 20 degree days. Using base 50, 2 degree days would have been accumulated. When average temperatures are less than the base temperature, no degree days are accumulated. There are various references that recommend actions based upon accumulated degree days, but I'm going to provide one example that is dear to the hearts of many superintendents. The most popular use for growing degree days is for timing of proxy primo and embark applications for control of seed head production in Poa Annua. This use of growing degree days may not be of interest to some of you folks in the warm areas of the country, but if you're trying to manage Poa, proper timing of seed head suppression applications can be serious business. This table reports the target growing degree days for most effective suppression in Poa Annua seed head production based upon work conducted in northern climates. The Michigan State Degree Day Tracker was the source of the guidelines. You need to start looking at growing degree days once weather begins to warm up in late winter or early spring, depending on your location. Our degree day tracking reports the values for the past 30 days only. This means that in some years, our values may be a little bit higher than systems such as Michigan State's and you would therefore treat a bit earlier. In most situations, however, the values should be pretty close. Degree day models are not perfect at predicting the timing of seed head production by POA and depending on the year can be right on the money or slightly off. We have decided to err on the side of treatment that is a little bit early rather than too late. For more information on the science and practical application of degree days, see the information associated with this video.